Hello, and welcome to the City of Burbank Parks Master Plan Workshop 2 video. My name is Zachary Meaning, and I'll guide you through this presentation. The purpose of the Master Plan is to develop a guide and implementation tool for the management and development of parks and recreation facilities throughout the city. Most importantly is this guide is developed based on local community needs, which will ultimately develop the local recommendations to support Burbank communities. The process is broken down into five stages. First, an inventory of the existing condition, followed by the community outreach and engagement. Comparing those two, we'll assess a needs analysis, then provide recommendations based on our findings, and ultimately funding and implementation support. To complete this project, it will take approximately 10 months, beginning in September of 2023, concluding in July, August of 2024. You can see we will begin on the left-hand side with the Parks, Facilities, and Programs Assessment, followed by the extensive community outreach. Then we will collect all of the information and develop final presentations. We also look at all of the parks and facilities available to the community within the City of Burbank. We find 24 parks, regional parks, and recreation facilities. Additionally, we'll look at the connectivity and multimodal transportation options and trails available to the community. The inventory will also consist of a review of all the existing programs that are available to the community. These programs include adult programs, aquatic programs, camps, classes, childhood, preschool classes, as well as teen and adult classes. We also look at the demographics. We find in 2023, the total population was just above 105,000. Some of the largest age ranges, 42%, are from the ages 35 to 64. You can also see subsequent age population breakdowns that we review in efforts to assess whom the community is and how might they recreate in the future. After completing our inventory, we'll reach out to the community through an extensive process, including statistically valid multimodal surveys, stakeholder interviews, community workshops, both live and online, as well as a project website. This project website will allow dedicated feedback 24-7 where the community can share information with us at any point in time. Looking at the statistically valid multimodal survey conducted, we first see there was a good geographic distribution of residents participating all across the city of Burbank. Some key data points we see is 46% of the participants get their information about Burbank Parks, Recreation Facilities programs from the city's website. 81% of the participants are satisfied with the job that Public Works Department is doing in maintaining the parks and recreation facilities. 75% of the participants are satisfied with the existing parks and recreation facilities programs they have and utilize within the city. As part of the multimodal survey, we also asked, what is one recreation program, class, or activity you would like to see added or improved within the city? And we see here in alpha order, arts classes, basketball, children's activities, fitness exercise centers, Zumba, park activities, pickleball, senior activities, sports, swimming classes, and yoga, meditation were all elements provided by the community. Additionally, we asked the question, what is one park amenity or recreation facility you would like to see added or improved in Burbank? We heard items such as a dog park, more parks, pickleball courts, playground updates, preserved green grassy areas, restrooms, soccer fields, swimming pools, tennis courts, and walking paths. As part of our outreach, we conducted Workshop 1 on March 13, 2024 at the Jocelyn Adult Center. Following that workshop, a survey was available to the public from March 13th to March 31st. A total of 459 surveys were completed, and you can see we collected an even distribution of surveys all across the community. Here are some of the workshop results that we heard from the participants of Workshop 1. We asked three questions. What are the most important community characteristics that make Burbank a great place to live, work, and play? What are issues or trends that may be negatively impacting those great community characteristics? And what role can the city of Burbank play to address these issues? Some of the amazing community characteristics that we had heard included small town feel, the community, family friendly activities and education, safety and cleanliness, parks and recreation, accessibility and amenities to the public. Issues that might be negatively impacting those community characteristics would be the need for more parks and green spaces, traffic and pedestrian safety, homelessness and housing affordability, recreation facilities, and more programs, again, needing more of them, community services and accessibility. What role can the city of Burbank play 
in addressing those issues is providing safety, cleanliness, and maintenance of the parks and facilities, community engagement, and feedback with the community, recreation and facility park expansion, program diversity and accessibility, as well as environmental conservation and green spaces. I invite you to visit the project webpage. On this webpage, we will have project updates, information about how you can get involved, as well as a dedicated feedback button where you can click on that button and share information with the planning team at any point in time during the life of this project. I encourage you now to take the survey available from April 10th through April 24th. Click on the link below or go to burbankca.gov forward slash city parks master plan to learn more. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and ideas as we continue the development of Burbank Parks Master Plans.